Cernich, linchpin for the Devils. When he plays well, the team plays well. He is having a great game so far, and therefore the Devils are still in this. I think that's great to see from him. Paris Hyde with it is a very good point. Uh, flips it forward, but doesn't go through. Big pass off to Dallimore, one-on-one. -on -one. Take it in, and a goal! He gets it across to uh, the winger over on the far side, as it's now back on to 5v4 for the Thunder as now Harford has it, crosses it in, and that is a fantastic centering pass to a well-placed forward. Robbie Banks here with it in his feet. Mason Kennedy takes a shot, deflected by Chris Eden behind the net, but no, no luck going into that the net, like unfortunately. That looked like trickled just wide. And now uh, the captain, Hay, with the puck. Hyde, excuse me. Chris Eden here, the other captain, one-on-one -on -one in the, 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 the Thunder zone. Robbie Banks here. Has a, oh, and that's a fantastic goal straight through the five hole on Henry Tickerman. Uh, just as I say that, they give the puck up in center ice. Sean Brown here entering the zone for the Thunder. He's got Orsho in the middle, but that is broken up by Sullivan, who's played a really solid game so far. Perva plays it up to Egan, who bowls over the Thunder defender there. Good control. Mason Reese here. here with the puck. And that's oh, a that's fantastic a deflection goal. by Kieran Higgins. The young winger for the Devils. Great deflection off Mason Reese's shot pass. Straight off his stick into the top corner over Henry Tickenden's uh, blocker. Just a fantastic goal there for the Devils. I actually thought that the, uh, the slash had been called against the Thunder, but there it is, Eden with the slash. I think he, the only thing he could have done is slash the goaltender there, Lewis. So I think I'm he not, must have, yeah. yeah. So Reese with it on, on a, and it's a goal! A shorthanded opportunity. And Reese ends up five holing Tekin in. What a fantastic shorthanded breakaway by Mason Reese. Yeah, he gets away, two guys chasing him the whole time, and uh, ends up just dragging it through backhanded on a uh, five hole opportunity. This is a very big moment for the Thunder if they want to get back in this game. Hurrying with the uh, zone, and Evans Campbell skates around Goss. Takes it all the way around. Lily's going to take a shot here. Big wrister. All gear for Goss. Knocked away, though, on a, on a rebound behind the net. And the Thunder continue with their offense. They cycle around. Harford with it. He's going to take a high shot. That gets knocked down in front and goes off to the side. Another cycle and another uh, effort of moving it right around the left point. Hurrying, pushing forward through the slot. Doesn't get through. And there's a turnover. Two on nobody. Banks is going to take this. In, in a goal, Robert Banks with the shorthander. And that's going to do it, guys. It's over. There's the horn. 5-1 is your final. And the relief is visible on the players as the Red Devils go out and celebrate a victory for the first time in since the opening weekend 69 days wow yeah it's been a while back to sullivan so they can set up the offense for the devils up we go and brought in the zone cleared and sent around to the near side higgins up on the point but that's turned right back out and a uh, quick opportunity reese doing his best and it's going to be an open net and a shorthanded goal for the thunder Eden against Herring again for this faceoff, and Herring wins that, but it gets to Eden, who takes oh, a shot and it goal. goes in. That is a fantastic goal. Just slotted it right under Burakowskis' left pad, a uh, right pad, excuse me. Now the Thunder back with it, Leahy on the far boards there, giving it to Chris Eden, which is not who he wanted it to pass to. Uh, but Leahy now getting it back and scanning it up through the ice. Banks there, stripping him of the puck and still on it. It's a two on one situation for Banks and Chris Eden here, as Chris Eden slots that straight in the net just over the pad of Barakowskis. A fantastic shot. That's two in about four minutes for Chris Eden and the Red Devils. This is a great start to the period, exactly what they would have been looking for. Yeah, no screen there. Not a whole lot of a chance for the puck to go in, but you never know with Cernich. He's a big lad. He can get a good power on his shot. He absolutely can, and he's having a good game today. His passing's been a little bit off, but otherwise he's had a really solid performance so far. Cernich again with the puck, a long shot in, and that one will go in. We just said it, Cernich can do wonderful things with that big stick. And that will come back to the blue line, Evans Campbell for the Thunder, trying to pass it up to Harford, who can't quite get his stick on it. 
And now Sullivan for the Devils, giving that long stretch pass to Eden. That's tapped down for no icing, and he will chase Lily into the zone. It looks like uh, Eden is able to contain that and keep control of the puck there. Banks there to help him out and does actually get the puck. Going to take a shot, and that's in the back of the net. A well-elevated shot over the shoulder of Barakowskis for the third goal of this period. And just a really great period for the Devils. That's three goals in nine, eight and a half minutes, excuse me. Sliding it across to Evans Campbell, who takes another slap shot, but nothing challenging there for Goss. I'm not even sure it got through to him, as Evans Campbell now gives it to Hyde. Hyde looks, gives it to Audio, who is looking for an option there, trying to get into the middle of the ice, and no goal there, but that is a goal, in fact. Gets it back to Hyde, who slaps it in really quickly above his shoulder, above Adam Goss's shoulder. The Southern Trust, funding your community for over 20 years. Thank you to the Southern Trust for sponsoring the 2019 Canterbury Red Devils. We appreciate it. Thank you, everybody, who has sponsored the Devils this season, audio with it out at the blue lane. Oh, and that's just a seeing puck right through the five hole. Audio has the goal, uh, the puck again out at the blue line, passed through by Orr, sent in, heavy angle shot, Goss well out of his net, but playing the angle on it. That goes out to Audio, he's gonna have a big slap shot. Goss holds on to it, and a big save, and a goal! And that means Dallimore is available on the bench. Five on four. Thunder still on the power play. Barakowskis obviously oh. back, and boy, he almost misplayed a, a shot in on the glove uh, from center ice. Evans Campbell comes through fast for the Thunder. They're gonna try to steal this while they can, and they still have the man advantage. That goes out to the point. Shot in, deflected off of a uh, Pervers chest, it looked like. That's out to Harford. Harford's holding a wrister, and goes blistering by the right side, and a goal! The Thunder! Get a fifth goal, another oh. power play goal by Evans Campbell. Five to four is the final score. The Dunedin Thunder with an unlikely last minute victory, taking one right out from under the Red Devils to finish the 2019 NZIHL season for the Canterbury Red Devils.